Hi, I would like to talk about low complex frame synchronization in OFDM systems. As the time is limited, I'm just going to give a brief outline about the uh, project and its results. The abstract. In this project, a novel data-based frame synchronization method for OFDM systems is presented. OFDM frames are shown to contain sufficient information to synchronize a system without the use of pilots. The cyclic extension preceding OFDM frames is of decisive importance for this method. Based on only the sign bits of the in-phase and quadrature components of the received OFDM signal, the maximum likelihood solution is derived. This solution basically consists of a correlator, a moving sum, and a peak detector. The stability of the generated frame clock is improved significantly by averaging over a few number of frames. Simulations will show that this low complex averaging method can be used to synchronize an OFDM system on a twisted pair of copper wires and then slowly fading radio channels. Introduction Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing OFDM systems have gained an increased interest during the past few years. They are used in wireless applications such as digital broadcast radio and television as well as mobile communication systems is currently being investigated. But a problem in the design of OFDM receivers and receivers for block transmission systems in general is the unknown time instant uh, at which we need to start sampling a new frame. Such a frame clock may be generated with the aid of pilot symbols known only to the receiver. The structure of the transmitted OFDM signal, however, offers the opportunity to generate a frame clock that works without the aid of such pilots. In this project we present and evaluate a new method of synchronizing OFDM frames uh, synchronizing frames in OFDM systems two key elements will uh, rule the entire discussion the first element is the idea that the data itself contains sufficient information to perform satisfactory synchronization the frame synchronization methods we present exploit the cyclic extension preceding the symbol frames commonly accepted as a means to mitigate inter-symbol interference in OFDM systems. The use of pilots is thus avoided altogether. The second element is the demand that the methods be low complex and hence very attractive implement. We present methods that only use the in-phase and quadrature sign bits of the OFDM data. Now, for some introduction about the OFDM model, this is how it looks like. As you can see, an off case the additive white Gaussian noise which is being added to S of K in order to obtain the received signal R of K. The structure of the transmitter signal S of K will be illustrated in the next figure. Uh, this process, however, is not white even though we add this uh, component here which is the uh, white Gaussian noise uh, because the appearance of a cyclic extension yields a non-zero correlation between pairs of samples. 
uh, which is part of the cyclic extension spaced and samples apart this will be uh, this will also be uh, demonstrated in the next slide the channel impulse response h of k is for now assumed to affect the signal s of k and you know uh, after that uh, by additive white Gaussian noise n of k and hence we uh, after s of k is processed by h of k and uh, added to the additive white Gaussian noise we get the received signal this is the uh, structure of the transmitted OFDM signal with cyclically extended frames s of k and as you can see the, um, the frames are and samples apart now we discuss some uh, synchronization methods optimal synchronization low complex synchronization and averaging the log likelihood function optimal synchronization can be described by these equations in all these uh, synchronization methods the uh, objective is to obtain this function lambda r of theta and to provide a maximum likelihood estimation of theta uh, in each of these uh, synchronization methods here uh, rho is uh, the signal to noise ratio divided by SNR plus 1 is the correlation a coefficient of a sample R of K of the received signal and K belongs to I and the sample R of K minus of N the sample that is uh, separated by um, N samples from the current sample R of K the uh, signal to noise ratio uh, SMR is defined as error energy of uh, S of K divided by energy of the additive white Gaussian noise R of K minus of N is the cyclic cyclic prefix that is uh, that precedes the current sample R of K by N samples low complex synchronization can be described by this equation uh, but before that uh, the maximum likelihood estimation of theta for a given sample of the received signal is uh, defined as theta cap r and that theta cap r is the argument that maximizes this equation thus depending on the signal to noise ratio the correlation and square difference between received data samples spaced n samples apart are weighted in an optimal way the correlation term positively and the square difference term negatively look uh, coming back to low complex synchronization this is the uh, equation that uh, describes low complex synchronization for a given value of C of K and the cyclic uh, extension that precedes uh, C of K by N samples the ML estimator of theta given 